Hi everyone, um, this isn't going to be a massively long video, um, I had actually decided not to go on YouTube anymore or use it as a platform to post our videos um, due to um, comments from a lovely person um, on Friday, I won't mention names because A, I've blocked him and B, I'm not going to give him the satisfa satisfaction of naming him. Um, he was extremely nasty um, and downright hateful towards me. I don't even know this person. Um, he did contact me via Facebook um, and it, it was concerning a matter that didn't even involve me. It didn't concern me. It was to do with somebody that I know that I, I don't even know who they are. And because I would not get involved with this situation that was going on, because I don't know this I don't know the story, so I can't get involved. Um he basically turned on me. Um he was sending nasty comments via Facebook. Um He'd then seen um, a video I'd shared from YouTube to Facebook. So he obviously realised that I was on Facebook. And then was commenting on every single video I'd put on, on YouTube. Now, as a blind person, a visually impaired person, I've recently found out that YouTube isn't ideal. It's not the best platforms to work out how to block somebody. I've done it now. But by the time I managed to do that, I'd already had really abusive and nasty comments coming through. Um, you know, I, I can take someone swearing at me. I can take someone calling me um, all the names under the sun. But one of the comments was, you're just, you're not blind. You're pretending to be blind so that you can get a dog. Now, I'm sorry, but that's the lowest of the low. If you've got a problem with me, goodness knows why. Because I didn't know this person from Adam. I don't know him. I, I don't know. Then, you know, don't throw things like that at me. What? I'm not blind because I, I don't sit there feeling sorry for myself. This is the problem with society nowadays. If you've got any kind of a disability... You're not allowed to have a smile on your face. You're not allowed to have nice clothes. You're not allowed to wear makeup. You're not allowed to be you, basically. This is the problem now with society. And you know what? It's totally brassy me right off. I wasn't going to do a video, but I'm not going to hide in the shadows just because some person who is a coward is hiding behind a computer or iPhone, or iPad, or any other kind of device, and feeling brave and hurling these insults at me, I will not have it. I will not have it. It took years and years for me to build my confidence up. I never used to want to speak to anybody in the street. I'd shy away from any kind of a conversation. I never wanted to do it. I never wanted to interact with anybody. And I'm not going to make some silly person knock me back down again. So if ever anyone has this issue or is having it now, don't let them win as hard as it is. Because do you know what? I'm not going to lie. He did make me feel rubbish. He really did. Some of the insults he was hurling at me. I mean, I had, you know, I don't know what my face looks like. I can't see it for Christ's sake. I am blind, although he thinks I am pretending I'm blind. I am blind. And I'm not going to say what sight I've got left because I'm not going to justify my sight anymore because I'm sick and tired of doing it. My sight isn't me. I am my sight. I am me. My sight doesn't define who I am. It, it's just, you know, I'm actually mad now more than anything else. But yeah, one of the comments was, never mind sight loss, what about ugly? So you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sorry. But he obviously hasn't got a, he has not got a clue, obviously. And obviously he's got major issues in his life and insecurities. So he's got to have a dig at somebody else 
and knock them down to make him feel better. And that's what trolls do. And that's what bullies do. And you know what? This bully isn't going to win with me. You know, I'm I'm sick and tired of, of how some charities even portray people who are blind. I'm really sick of it. You know, we don't sit there with a pathetic look on our faces. We don't we don't feel sorry for ourselves. We get on with our lives. And, and you know, I understand that charities need money. I understand that. And I understand that they've got to show people at rock bottom. But then people think that that's how you are for the rest of your life. They don't see you building yourself back up. They don't see you working harder, getting your confidence back and building your life back up. This person doesn't know me. He doesn't know what other illnesses I've got and he doesn't know about my other disabilities. Yet this person felt it okay to judge me. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm having people going, oh, well, you're, just, you're partially blind. People telling me what I am. No, I'm not partially blind. I'm registered blind. I can't see pig or basically. I'm sorry about the language, but guys, I am extremely mad and I feel passionate about this. I can't see anything. I cannot see anything. I took the guide dog out into a, a, the pen this morning. I actually walked into the brick wall because I, I lost my bearings. Now, if I'm pretending to be blind, why would I do that? I decide, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to go smack bang into a brick wall and pretend I'm blind. I wish I was pretending because do you know what? I wouldn't have to put up with this on a daily basis. And only, I'm not having dig all sighted people and I'm not. Don't get me wrong, I am not. But do you know what? Unless you have lived a day in our shoes and put up with the stuff that we have to put up with, you wouldn't have a clue because it is just hard. You know, I mean, I, I got up Saturday morning and my first thoughts was, well, why bother? If this is how society wants you to be, isn't it easier to be that way? But no, because then you're not doing yourself any favours. You know, I... It's hard enough for me some days because of my other illness that, you know, the energy, my energy levels like today are absolutely zero. I'm absolutely, I'm tired. I've got, I'm fatigued. I've got no energy today at all. Yet you have to put up with this rubbish. Just remember, you, I don't know, it just, it just makes you mad. It does. I mean, I'm just sick and tired of it. You know, I went from doing something that I enjoyed doing on YouTube to starting record videos with Venus and I, hoping to build it back up again, to not wanting to come on here because I just don't want to put up with it. I don't want to put up with that kind of rubbish. I don't need it in my life. I don't need negative people in my life. You know, I shouldn't have to listen to my phone. And yes, not that you will be watching because I've blocked you. But if I was pretending to be blind, why would I use voiceover on my phone, for God's sake? I had to listen to my phone spew out these evil, nasty comments and these vile words off someone that doesn't even know me. If you knew me, all right, then you've got, you can have an opinion, but you don't know me. You don't know who I am. So just keep your, you know, just basically just crawl back into whatever hole you came out of. And stay there and do everybody a favour because nobody needs that in life. Nobody needs that abuse. Nobody needs that venom. Because that's what it was. It was pure evil venom. You know, I'm still undecided whether to carry on on here or not because I, I just, it's just vile. I don't know where people get off thinking that it's okay to do this. You, you know, everybody gets it. It's not just disabled people. It's everybody. And again, a lot of it's down to jealousy. A lot of it's down to, be, obviously, they are seeing you be happy and they're miserable, maybe. That's what it is, and they want you to be the same. And so I just wanted to come on because... I don't know who saw, if anyone saw any of the comments, but they were absolutely vile. And I actually feel sorry for anyone that had to read or listen to those comments that I had to because they were they, they were not nice. Um, they weren't. But now, more than anything else, I am angry more than anything else. 
I am angry that this person thought it was okay to do this and felt that he could do it. You know, it was it was just vile. And then because I was removing the comments, it, the silly person just decided to go and unlike all the videos I've put on. I mean, how immature is that, basically? I don't give a monkeys if he liked the videos. I don't give a monkeys what he thinks about me. What he knew, really needs to do is just go and take a long, hard look at himself in the mirror and look at what person he is and see if he wants to waste the, waste the rest of his life being how he is. Because I know if I was, I'd be absolutely disgusted with myself if I behaved or treated people like he has. I really would. So please, if anyone ever goes through or is going through this, don't let them win. They're the ones with the problem. They're the ones who obviously aren't happy with their life and feel the need to knock us back down to their level. Just don't let them, as hard as it is and as draining as it is. And YouTube, you need to be looking at the settings, making them more accessible because it took me so long to try and block somebody. It was unbelievable. You know, and by that time, then all those comments had come through and they were on lovely videos I'd put up of my guide dog or me talking about my sight loss journey. And I had that abuse underneath. So you need to take a look at that. Because again, I did report the person, but I don't think anything was done. So social media platforms need to step up a bit here. Because no one should listen to that. I can't out my blindness. I can't out where I look like. I don't know where I look like. I don't give a monkeys, to be honest, because I can't see my face. So I'm not bothered. I don't really care. I just do what makes me feel better. And that's my uh, my makeup. Most days, putting a smile on my face, although today I really don't want to put a smile on my face because I'm just too angry um, to do that. So um, I just wanted to come here and just let everyone know what was what had happened. Um, and no one should have to put up with that abuse. No one. And also, I'm not just going to sink away in the shadows just because somebody feels that they can push me in a corner and lock me in a box and achieve that by healing abuse at me because they can't and I won't let them do it. So sorry, it's not um, a very cheerful video. Um... But I just wanted to let everyone know how I was feeling and what I'd had to put up with um, because the abuse went on basically until I could block this person. I've had to block him on all my social media platforms. Um, you know, but even now when, 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 my phone, when my phone goes off or we've got a YouTube notification, even now I'm still thinking it's him, found a way through created a different name or I don't know but you know so I'm gonna leave everybody to it and I'm sorry for being a bit a bit down and depressing but um you know maybe if you saw this video we'd think yeah I'm not pretending to be blind I am blind nasty horrible person that I hope one day never has to go through blindness or losing the sight because maybe then he'd realise just what a struggle it is to get where you are. Take care, guys.